Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So ever since I first started on YouTube, you guys know I have been working diligently to try to dispel rumors about what um, darker skinned women and women of, women of color cannot do with their makeup, okay? With that being said, there still, even till this day, seems to be this really, really silly rumor going around that says that black women, dark skinned women cannot wear nude lipsticks. Let me tell you, that is a lie. The devil is a lie. It's not true. It's extremely incorrect. And the people that are telling you these things are not to be mean, simply the ones that just don't know what they're talking about. They don't know how to do it or they just lack the proper knowledge. And there's nothing wrong with being ignorant. Ignorant is just lacking knowledge. But I'm going to show you, I have well over 10 10 nude lipsticks that are all women of color friendly now unfortunately for some these are all mac products okay now you guys know i used to work for mac so obviously i'm going to have a lot of their products and not to say that it's my favorite line but um so that may be a good thing for you that may be a bad thing for you and um mac is easily accessible for everyone so i'm just going to get right into it show you guys what my particular favorites are and there's going to be regular nudes, nude pinks, um, a few nude corals that I'll show you that I like to work with and let's get started in no particular order. Okay so first one is Viva Glam 5. It's showing up a little pink on camera but this is a really really beautiful pink nude for darker skin women as well as the Viva Glam 5 lip glass from MAC. I wouldn't even necessarily, I don't really wear them together. I feel like they're the same so they don't really do much for my lips. I like a little bit of definition. So what I like to do is take Viva Glam 5 and put like a much lighter gloss such as, uh, what's a good one? See-through. See-through is a really, really great and it may not look it compared to my skin. See how much lighter it is? Great, great nude lip gloss. I would never wear this on its own but paired with Viva Glam 5, amazing. And these all, all of these products can be used pretty much like interchangeably with one and another. So that's another great thing. OCC's Petty Beige, awesome, 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 awesome dupe for Max. Ooh, wrong one, wrong one. Max Revealing. Max Revealing is probably hands down my favorite nude lip gloss. Okay. Um, if they ever, for whatever silly reason, decide that they don't want to sell Revealing anymore, which would be really stupid on their part. Petty Beige would be my next, what I would pull next to um, the most comparable to Revealing. So I really like Revealing because it's kind of like a nice, not orange, but it's definitely like a warm nude. I love this color. I can pair this with pretty much any lip color. And Petty Beige is awesome. The only thing about OCC lips are, as some of you may know, they're not glosses. They're just lip color. So you put them on and they have like a dry finish. So I would probably use like a gloss on top of this one, but there's that one. Sis Lipstick, time for a new one. Also another one of my favorites. It is definitely a great, great, great everyday wearable nude. I like to pair it. Actually, you know what? This one isn't so everyday wearable. I take that back. The one that's more everyday wearable is Fresh Brew by MAC. And I say that because not only is it a little bit darker than Sis, but it is a luster finish. And lusters tend to be a little bit more moisturizing on the lips. So we've got Sis on the right, Sis on the right, Fresh Brew on the left, okay? And let's swatch so you get a feel for, and I put on a lot of product. So looking at the two side-by-side -side comparisons, this is Sis. Sis is definitely a little bit more lighter. So depending on your complexion, I like Sis when I'm going out, when I'm going, when I need like a party nude, when I need like a sexy defined nude. And Fresh Brew is kind of a little bit more toned down. It almost is like literally nude on my skin tone. And Fresh Brew is also a lot more moisturizing. So it just depends on what you want the nude to look like, where you're going, and what your preference is with lips um, and stuff like that, what your tolerance is. Next is Faux, Faux by MAC. Faux is a really, really pretty nude pink. If you don't put, if you put more on, you'll see more of the pink than you will the nude part of it. But I will swatch a little bit of that. It's definitely on the nudish side, but it gives you a little bit more color. So that bottom one there is Faux. Let's see what Viva Glam looks like. I didn't get to swatch Viva Glam for you guys. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Faux with more pink and Viva Glam, which is definitely more nude. 
but faux looks uh, definitely nude the nudish side on me unfortunately I don't have any coral nudes so I'll just show you my favorites oh before I before I do that before I do that my all-time favorite all-time favorite nude lipstick all-time favorite nude lipsticks is peach stock by Mac okay this is a color that you look at and you you think no absolutely not here's peach stock okay so you see how light that is you look at that and you're like there's no way in God's name I'm gonna rock that but let me tell you this nude right here I get so many compliments when I wear peach stock so many compliments um, I don't know what it is about this lipstick those two are peach stock on the bottom okay I seriously love this lipstick I love this lipstick with revealing lip glass on top I love this lipstick with um, Vegas vault I live in back of a mosque so please don't mind the prayer in the background but anyhow I love peach stock paired with Vegas vault lipstick which is that one there Vegas vault is by no means nude whatsoever but since I don't own any coral nudes what I do is I actually put on a little bit of Vegas vault first and then I will put some peach stock on top and it will look more coral more like a coral nude you see how I did that and then I'll put some lip glass on top and then it'll really make it look coral so we've got that I just put revealing on top of that that one right there you may not get the real effect being that it's on my hand but you definitely definitely see that these colors are definitely I think they're women of color friendly I think they are pretty gorgeous on dark skin and you know I'm pretty much as dark as it comes well I mean there's plenty of people that are darker than me but I'm pretty dark and if I can rock these colors there's no reason why anyone um, anyone else can okay it's not necessarily it's not so much about the colors that you're wearing it's just pretty much how that how you rock them another thing the the most important thing the best thing that you can do for yourself when you're wearing a nude lipstick or any lipstick for that matter when you have dark skin specifically because we have like you know darker lips around the ring um, the best way to get a nude lipstick to work for you of any color is to use a, a brown lip liner now I know a lot of you guys are thinking brown lip liner what the hell and I've, I do this pretty much in every single video simply because when you have a color that's so bright okay and you put it up against dark skin on your dark lips that transition from your skin to the light color will kind of give you like that milky effect and this is something that I've explained in quite a few videos but I want to re-explain it again for those of you guys that may be new to the channel or don't understand why I constantly wear a brown lip liner the reason why I do that is because it looks so much more natural it's like a, a way more natural transition from the lip color to your skin color so you're looking at my lips and you're like wow that color looks so great for her I, I can't tell what it is though what did you do it's because I wear a brown lip liner so there's like that it's like that in-between transition color you get what I mean depending on how dark you are I like using cork by Mac cork is like a really soft brown where it literally like looks like just like my skin color when I put it on um, I also like chestnut by Mac and the only thing about chestnut is, is it's a little dark so I like to wear chestnut when I need like a more defined nude lip like sculpted nude lip okay so I'll do like chestnut with fresh brew and I'll really really get like a Mary J Blige nude lip okay so it just you know those are just what my favorite products are feel free to use them as you please or um, pair them up your favorite way I just really really wanted to talk about what my favorites were because there's so many people that really really think that black women and dark skinned women cannot wear nude lipstick and it's so not true so I just had to show you guys what my favorites are if you don't already know what they are if you guys have any favorites um, put them out there and share them with everyone else and that is pretty much all I've got as for the lip I'm wearing now I'm wearing my coral nude lip combo this is Vegas vault I put on a little bit of Vegas vault first peach stock and revealing lip glass on top with cork lip liner of course so other than that thank you for stopping by thanks for watching i hope that you guys found this video helpful and i'll see you next time